Dscope provides you a getting started wizard to configure the system and all the user journeys and flows in your application per your requirements. This wizard starts by asking you if your application is designed for other businesses or consumers. In this tutorial, we are building a consumer application, so let's use consumers. Next screen asks you to choose up to two primary methods for authentication. Social logins are usually very good for consumer applications, and let's use biometric as the other primary authentication method. The following screen asks you to choose a secondary authentication method to implement multi-factor authentication. In this case, we will choose one-time password. You can choose any of the other methods available or choose none for no MFA. Next screen shows you the methods that have been chosen and a demo login screen that has been configured. Many different user journeys and flows have been configured based on our choices. Let's go ahead and generate. Confirm that we want to generate these flows. This screen shows you a link to the sample application, which we can quickly go and see how our flows look inside the sample application, or a quick start guide to incorporate these flows into our application. Let's modify the code and see how we can embed all the flows that have been generated into our application. Before that, a quick view of the flows. This is the sign-in flow that has been generated and we can see there are two different authentication methods here. In our application, we will use sign up or sign in flow, which contains welcome screen, sign up or sign in via web authn or social login. If this is a new user, we collect more user information, such as phone number for multi-factor auth, verify the phone number, and then submit this user information, update the user, and generate the JOT token. Important thing to see, this entire flow is based on the selection that we have made. Let's switch to our documentation. Quick Start Guide is the easiest and the fastest way to get application integrated with Dscope. We have already finished this particular setup of the projects, got the project ID, and ran the wizard. Let's start by integrating the application. The sample application which we are going to use is running on my local system. As you can see, login page has no flows here, and we're going to add login to this application. This is a very typical React application, app.js with container, login page with a placeholder where we need to add our login flow. Let's go ahead and start to follow the documentation. Step one, install the React SDK. Import, import the SDK. We'll go to app.js. These imports that you see include an auth provider and use auth as hooks. And we will get into the details of what these do and then sign up flow. The first step to modify application is to use the auth provider to wrap our app. We have already chosen the correct project up here which updates the project ID automatically in the documentation. So let's wrap our application. Next step is to insert the login flow. Notice there are few things that use auth hook provides. One is authenticated. This is a Boolean to check the user is authenticated or not the user object which gets you the email and name and other details of the user session token gives you the details we will not cover session management in this tutorial it will be covered in a separate tutorial let's pick up the login flow this needs to go into login.js rather than this placeholder let's put our flow right here notice it's a very simple statement which says sign up or in flow this could be done differently with Dscope component, and you can put in the flow ID from any of the flows in the screen here. For our scenario, we will use this. Let's put the packages that we need. 
right here, sign up or sign in flow. Place this here. Let's actually modify a little bit for the success handling here. So add a few things. Let's alert with the user details that we get user dot email. Let's just get the email of the user. User logged and let's alert than anything else. And in addition, let's uh, navigate. Just go to the home screen. As you see, localhost, this is embedded. Now, of course, after the basic stuff is done here, there is a lot of customizations that can be done. And we will quickly show you that. So let's go back to the console, getting started wizard. This was the last stage we were in. We have integrated the application. These are checkbox setting things like setting your project name, styles, logos. There are a lot of configuration you can do. And that is why the logo here shows as empty. Let's quickly modify the screen. That will give us a little bit better login. Login screen. We actually don't need a logo. Let's hit that. Save. Go back. That's it. So this is all updated. OK, let's test our login with Google Login Flow comes in here, we log in. This was the first time the user is logging in. So we asked for phone number for the MFA. Let's verify a phone number. This sends an OTP. Four, five, three, one, zero, three. Submit. You can see phone number is verified. Goes ahead, submits this information. And here is our alert log that we had. User logged in with the email address. Hit OK. And we redirect to our home page. That's it. So as you can see, setting up the entire login flow, designing the screens, multi-factor authentication, all of this can be done in a matter of minutes using these scope flows. Let's go back to our documentation guide quickly and see what are the next steps. So we covered all of these pieces. The last step to build a complete application using Dscope flows is to integrate your backend, whether it's Node.js, Python, or Go, and add session validation. We will not cover session validation in this tutorial. There is a separate tutorial available for session validation. Thank you.